गुड मॉर्निंग बॉयज वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन ह्यर वी आर टू लर्न समथिंग मोर अबाउट शिवाजी महाराज वेल बॉयज इन द लास्ट लेसन वी हैड लर्न अबाउट हाउ शिवाजी फेस द फोर ग्रेट एनिमीज द मुगल एम्पर ऑफ डेली द पोर्चुगीज ऑफ गोवा द सिद्धि ऑफ जंजीरा सुल्तान आदिल शाह ऑफ बीजापुर वी हैड लर्न अबाउट हाउ ही हैड कैप्चर्ड द फोर्ट ऑफ तुराना एंड रीनेम्ड इट एज प्रचंडगढ़ we also learned about the fort on the hill of muramdev how shivaji captured that fort he built it he completed it and he rena- he named it at rajgarh which became the first capital of swaraj now today we proceed with the lesson number 8 defeat of the internal enemies by use of force the marvelers of the 12 marvels gathered round shivaji ready to do his bidding they lived for swaraj and were willing in, to die for him they were simple maratha folk they loved shivaji more than their life but some people were jealous of shivaji's achievements he had to bring such people to book kandu ji and baji ghorpade were two sardars in the service of adil shah the shah incited them against shivaji they created a lot of trouble in the kundana district but shivaji was more than a match for them he defeated and drove them out bajaji nayak nimbalkar of palthan was shivaji's own brother in law but shivaji maharaj had to fight many battles against him however later on members of this family stood by shivaji maharaj sambaji mohite of supe a near relative of shivaji also started plotting against shivaji maharaj shivaji arrested him at supe and banished him to karnataka with shivaji duty came first and relatives afterwards chandra rao more of javli The greatness of Shivaji's achievements was recognized and applauded everywhere. He captivated the heart of his people. Some people did not like this. They looked upon Shivaji as a mole in their eye. The Mure of Javli was one such person. Mure was the jagirdar of Javli. This jagir which extended from Raigarh to Koina Valley along with the title Chandra Rao was conferred upon him by Adil Shah. Javli was covered with such a thick forest that even during broad daylight the sun's rays hardly penetrated it. It was full of wildlife. Tigers, wolves and bears roamed freely in the Javli forest. Mori's Javli was thus like a tiger's hideout. No one therefore crossed Mori's path. Only Shivaji had the courage to do so. After the death of Dolat Rao Mori in 1645 there was a fight for succession amongst the descendants Shivaji backed Yashwant Rao Mori who with Shivaji's help ascended the gadi as Chandra Rao in return for Shivaji's help Yashwant Rao promised to help Shivaji in his struggle and also pay him an annual tribute but he forgot all this once he succeeded to the gadi he started attacking shivaji's territory and harassing the people shivaji realized that unless more was punished he would remain a constant danger to swaraj rebel and you will die shivaji first sent a stiff note to yashwant rao more you call yourself the raja but i am the raja of this territory this kingdom is lord shiva's gift to me so do not call yourself the raja in a very rude reply yashwant rao said you are like a raja of only yesterday who gave up you this kingdom if you come to javli you will be trapped by the grace of god i have received from adil shah the title of raja he also he has also in his graciousness given me a throne and the panoply of a raja if you start any trouble here 
you will be badly hurt. Shivaji replied, Give up Javli and your pretensions to kingship. Come before your master with folded hands and accept his service. You will refuse to do so at the risk of your life. The conquest of Javli was a difficult operation. It was covered with thick forest and protected by impregnable Rairi fort. More also had numerous followers. Shivaji, after making thorough preparations, attacked Javli. Yashwant Rao held out for about a month but suffered very heavy losses. He then escaped to Rairi along with his family. Shivaji conquered Javli and then marched on Rairi. He laid siege to Fort Rairi. Yashwant Rao fought desperately for three months, but he had to give up. Fort Raigad The conquest of Javli was a very important landmark. This doubled the boundaries of Swaraj under Shivaji. Yashwant Rao's army too joined the forces of Shivaji. The strong Rairi fort became a part of Swaraj. Shivaji was highly pleased to have this fort under his control. He changed its name to Raigarh. Later on, he built a new fort on the Bhorpaya hill nearby. It was named Pratapgarh. So boys, we all have learned that Shivaji's firm determination helped him to move steadily towards his goal of establishing Swaraj. So, we all can see very well how Shivaji never gave up in any of the situations. So, we learn that we should never, never give up. Boys, stay in, stay safe, spread happiness and do take care of your loved ones. Until we come back again to learn something more about our great leader Shivaji Maharaj. Thank you and have a good day ahead.